Snow is an incredible medium to travel on and often provides efficient travel conditions. Perfect spring corn snow that's well consolidated and soft enough to take a boot kick or a ski edge or neve summer snow that takes crampon points like styrofoam can be both amazing experiences and efficient mountain travel. The opposite is also true. A thin layer of snow covering a talus field or deep unconsolidated powder snow, spring rotten isothermal snow can lead to waist deep post holing and these conditions make for exhausting travel in the mountains. Snow changes both on a seasonal level and throughout the year, as well as on a diurnal cycle with cold nights and warm days. In the autumn, the mountains have the least amount of snowpack and many lower elevation glaciers and talus fields are free of snow. In the winter, the snowpack starts to build as storms deposit winter precipitation and snow travel tends to be best done with skis or snowshoes. In popular winter cragging areas like ice climbs, which see a significant amount of traffic, boot pack trails can allow access through snowy areas without the use of snowshoes or skis. Spring can lead to some great ice climbing conditions when the combination of melt freeze cycles and solar radiation create a corn cycle where snow freezes at night, but the surface snow softens throughout the day. In the spring, snow travel may still be better with skis and skins, assuming the objective you wish to climb has good snow coverage on the approach. Summer allows for neve snow climbing conditions, where the snow that exists becomes consolidated, though late in the summer, sun cups can form, which are often challenging to smoothly move through. The daily cycle of snow means that snow climbing conditions may be best in the early morning hours or even just before dawn when the snow is the most firm. Whereas by afternoon when the sun has warmed the snow pack up to an even temperature, the snow will become rotten and not hold your boot. If the snow is firm or hard, crampons are the best, especially if the terrain is steep. If crampons are more secure, they can be problematic if the snow is soft and if you notice snow balling under the bottoms of your crampons. When this happens, sometimes the climbing or descending snow in boots without the crampons may be safer and more optimal. For more information about this topic, please watch our Climbing Tech Tips Alpine Travel Methods video.